welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, it's kind of an unfinished project. Um, it is finished in the sense that it's complete, but I don't know if I want to keep it. I decided this week that I was going to begin the process of making over our guest bedroom. It's kind of really sad looking um, and we want to have more, more people over and entertain more in this coming year. So um, we had a headboard that I originally got off Craigslist and it was a like cherry faux cherry wood finish on it and I originally just painted it white but only on the front side because I'm lazy um, and it just was kind of plain. So this project was just trying to just revamp that and make it a little bit more interesting. As you know, I am currently really obsessed with these vinyl peel and stick wood planks and I used them again here. And I also wanted to add a little bit more texture and detail to it, so I decided to um, use stencils as well. But without further ado, let me show you how I made over our guest bedroom headboard. <laughs> So at this point, I was getting ready to paint the stencils on, and what I originally wanted to do was just use some acrylic paint that I had. I only had a little bottle of it, but I figured you don't need a lot of paint for stencils. But unfortunately, I found out pretty quick that you actually do need your foam roller to be kind of soaked with paint so you can just do a light roll instead of having to push down really hard to get any of the paint to transfer onto your project. So after wiping off the stencil that I had created, I went ahead and started fresh, but I decided to use the chalk paint that I already had on hand. I have no idea why I didn't use it in the beginning. I saturated the foam roller, then rolled the foam roller on a paper towel to just get the excess off. And then I used very light pressure to roll the paint on. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I would really like to get your guys' opinions on if I should keep the stencil because it's not, it's not like precise and crisp lines. I think it's because the peel and stick wood planks have like a wood grain texture to them and it just doesn't, I mean, the paint kind of like goes in there and then spreads out so it, it makes it not sharp lines. You can't really tell from far away that they're kind of messy so should I keep it? Should I not keep it? I don't know. I'm hoping you guys can help me decide what to do on this. The sad thing is is that I put all this work into it and you can't even see it when the pillows are on the bed. My husband was like, but you, the guests can see it when they go, you know, they take the pillows down to go to sleep. I'm like, yeah, they're going to really enjoy it while they're sleeping. It's going to be great. Anyway, I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.